Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick, or this first video won't be so quick, but little vlog of my ulnar nerve subluxation issue along with the surgery and treatment that follows. Um, if you Google ulnar nerve subluxation, very complex um, set of issues that has absolutely no known cause but a very simple fix which is surgery. Um, I had mine start to onset about five, six years ago. It was very, very minor, barely noticed it, but over the last year, year and a half, um, it's gotten progressively worse. I've tried massage therapy, chiropractor, and nothing's really worked. Um, but those of you who haven't really looked it up or don't know much information, the Short version is ulnar nerve subluxation is when your ulnar nerve, which is whenever you hit your elbow and your funny bone goes crazy, that's that nerve, it does not stay where it's supposed to. And it clicks back and forth over the bone in the side of your elbow. I'm showing my good arm, um, but right about here. And um, clicks. And if you put enough weight behind it or do enough time, it starts to twinge and um, it starts to spasm all the way up your arm. Um, sometimes it can go as far as the two fingers, which is what mine progressed to. Basically, anytime you bend it past the 90 degree point, it would twinge all the way up here and get painful. Um, but essentially, I'm a very active person, rock climbing, going to the gym, uh, mountain biking, and pretty much everything except for running I had to stop doing because anytime I engaged my arm with any sort of weight or resistance it would be annoying and if I did it enough it would be painful so after a lot of looking around a lot of reading um, getting a set of MRIs which were useless um, along with uh, three different conce consensual diagnoses they all agreed that I had something called um, excuse me, ulnar nerve, um, pff, ulnar nerve subluxation, um, which requires a treatment called ulnar nerve uh, transposition. So set up appointment for surgery. Um, there are three different ways to have it done, um, three different procedures. Um, I ended up going with, referring to my doctor's notes here, um, left ulnar nerve release and submuscular transposition. Um, that is, as my doctor explained it to me, the more complex one. Um, however, if it's successful, it's also the one that's going to generally be the best in terms of staying put and not needing secondary surgery. Um, went in this morning, got up 5.30, drove over there, 6.30, surgery prep, took about 30 minutes. It was just asking a bunch of questions, uh, giving me an IV, whatnot. Wheeled me in 7.28, I was out 7.30, um, lights out, I meant, um, finished the surgery, had me sewn up by 8.20, so I was under the knife for less than 50 minutes, and I was awake at 9.20. So all in all, I was out for less than two hours, and I was under the knife for less than an hour. Um, woke up pretty groggy. Pretty rapidly, though, was able to recover. Um, walked out to the wheelchair on my own, but they they wanted to legally uh, wheelchair me out. But um, I didn't really have any issues there. I was prescribed five milligrams Vicodin with three hundred and twenty-five milligrams of Tylenol, and told to additionally take two two hundred milligram Advils every four hours for swelling. So when I got home, I took one 5 milligram Vicodin. I'm generally very adverse to taking any sort of prescription narcotics because I'm very sensitive to them, but the good news is I've actually been having a really good uh, result with the surgery. Uh, I haven't taken a Vicodin since 12.30 uh, when I got home. It is now 7 p.m., so it is completely out of my system. I still do have some of the narcotics from the surgery in my system, but it's painful but bearable. Um, I'll probably need to take them when I go to sleep. But just to give you a little bit idea of um, what's going on with me right now. Uh, so I've got my arm in a full wrap. Um, it's an ace bandage wrap all the way from uh, in front of my thumb all the way down up to the top of my bicep. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It's wrapped 
quite thick. And at the end, I've got a soft wrist brace here. Um, when I came out of surgery originally, um, these two fingers were completely numb. I had no sensation, but I could move them. Um, over the course of the day, they've transitioned to uh, like when your arm falls asleep because you slept on it and it's waking up and you get the pins and needles. I had the pins and needles for a while and now I'm down to um, I can feel them and when I touch them or put pressure on them, I've got pins and needles. I've got pretty good range of motion on my hand. I can close it completely. I can't quite open it up. If you see my fingers, they're flexed at about max right now. Um, in regards to my shoulder, shoulder movement's fine. Um, he said that wrist movement and elbow movement uh, as body allows or as pain level allows is fine. Um, in regards to my wrist, I mean, I've got, that's about max up, that's about max down, side to side is the same. In regards to my elbow itself, um, right about there, and then I start to feel the nerve stretching and tensing, and right about there, and actually it's not pain that stops me, it's the uh, the bandage itself gets too thick and bunches up. So all in all, I'm, I'm actually very happy, very excited. I've watched a couple of vlogs, and there were some people who were in extreme amounts of pain. There were some people who couldn't feel their entire hand, um, who, you know, had massive swelling or bleeding or... I've, I've had an extremely positive response. I have to give serious props to uh, Palo Alto Medical Foundation uh, located in Northern California and my surgeon, Dr. Jarrett Butler. If you happen to be anywhere near me or anywhere in this area, um, I ended up driving uh, 45 minutes to get my surgery from him and an hour for the original consultation, but he's got some pretty good ratings and now I see why. I mean, he was fantastic. So... Basically, that's about it. Um, I just wanted to give a sort of immediate response to how I was feeling, um, and especially now that I'm relatively lucid. Um, I'll be probably doing these updates quite frequently at the beginning while there's a bunch of changes going on, and then I'll slow them down a little bit, beef, beef them back in, up again around PT. Um, just a few more details. Um, in seven days, I get to get uh, this guy off, but until then I have to completely bag my arm up the shoulder um, if I want to take a shower, but showers are allowed immediately, I can take one uh, tonight. Um, when they take the wrap off, I will actually not have um, any anything on there except for um, a dressing, which will be changed between one and three times depending on how the stitches hold, if there's any bleeding or leakage. Um, I do have a sling for it, um, which is nice for when I'm walking around and whatnot. When I'm not, I'm generally just, you know, resting it on my leg or um, I've got a bunch of pills I'll put in my lap and rest it up here because if I keep it above the heart, um, it's supposed to reduce uh, swelling and pain. Um, seven days I get that removed. Uh, Fourteen days is when I get my uh, first um, PT appointment to determine how I'm doing and when I'm actually going to start the physical therapy. Um, anything else? No, I mean, honestly, I, I came into this pretty, pretty scared because, uh, you know, being active is a huge part of my life, and while this has been reducing me, my activity level, it's, you know, it still allows me to do certain things, and I've, I've heard some horror stories of people having to go and get some surgery a second time, or losing sensation in their fingers, or losing mobility, or losing strength. Um, but so far, you know, <laughs> knock on wood, uh, everything bodes well. I'm just, you know, excited that I'm not in extreme pain and I'll probably get to sleep decently. If anybody has any questions, uh, please feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. Um, I'm happy to talk about it. I've done so much research over the past six months determining who, what, when, where, why, and how best surgeons, best locations, what my options are, treatments, recoveries. So I've got a lot of information that I'm not putting in here for the thing of keeping this relatively short. As I say this, it's now getting to 10 minutes, but um, most of my videos from now on will be very short, um, you know, anywhere from a minute to a couple of minutes unless there's a, you know, anything pops up. But they'll just be really short, quick updates if anything happened, anything didn't happen. And... Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, or at the very least, find it useful if you are 
yourself considering the treatment, know someone who is, 